Hello, so I'm going to show you how to make Windows 7 look like Windows XP. Okay, let, so let's start by downloading Windows 7 to XP pack. This is what your Windows 7 computer will look like. Okay, that's what your Windows 7 um, computer will look like already. Alright, so let's get started. So go to Google Chrome or Internet Explorer or Safari, whatever you use. I'm just going to go to my history to see where my thing is. You can get it, go to some, this um, address www.filefactory.com slash premium slash index slash whatever. The link will be in the description, I will put it in there. And then it will say retry download, but keep retry and download. It will say at the bottom download and do the slow download unless you want to become a premium member, like unlimited, tick everything. Normally it will be basic and non. Do not, I do not recommend a non non user. Okay, there's a Mac picture. Okay, yep. So download seven to XP pack. Seven to XP pack. Then open seven to XP pack. Go to start up changer. Right click on Windows Seven Start Button Changer version two point six. Run as run as run as administrator. Selection change start button, make sure you click on any part of that. Yep, any part, give the text. Go to wherever you save your 7xp pack, as in my own desktop. You will need WinRAR to do all of this, because you need to download 7xp pack with WinRAR. And you will need Windows 7 to do this, not Windows Vista. It'll make it go all wrong. Well, not with Windows XP, because you will only have Windows XP theme and features. Okay, start up changer, Windows XP start. Okay, it looks small at the minute, so right click on your taskbar, go to properties, combine when taskbar is full or never combine, use small icons and OK. We'll apply. Let's just say, click it, apply and OK. There we go. And close that. And there we go. Right, now open some XP pack again. And go to win win xp theme for 7 copy this one and copy that one <laughs> now go to my computer local disk c or macintosh whatever no, no not, it won't work on macintosh go to scroll down to resources themes and paste them into there you'll probably press yes or no and I'll say, I'm saying no because I've already done it. Right click and go to personalise. Right click on your desktop and go to view with small icons. View and then small icons. Go to and then go back into your personalise. Then go scroll down to scroll down to um, install themes and go to Luna. wait for it to load I'll pause the video just to look that's what it will look like let me just pause the video until go that's what it will look like go to sounds just there and go to asterisk it's still the same so go to browse Windows XP sounds now typing whatever it says just there so Windows Windows error Windows error now click on that now test it and it's Windows XP. Apply and OK. I've, and then go to change mouse pointers. There and it will say Windows Arrow. Go to None. And I'll save it as Windows XP. Now I'll press OK. But well, I'm pressing Cancel because I've already done it. There we go. And then you, that was the sound. Say, open Simple XP pack again. Go to Icon Files, Explorer. Won't work. It doesn't work though anyway. Because it was not able to start collect correctly because it's not got that on the computer. I've not got it. I'm not going to clue. There's Show 32, but that's when you do the changing icon. That's just the icons. You do not want that. Theme oh, yeah. Before, you need to patch your computer. So if that's a 64 bit computer, you do that. If it's a 32 bit, you do that. Right, I'm going to run as administrator. Select your English from English. Select your, chan, chan, select your, select your 
language from English, Chinese, and something else. I'm not gonna, I don't know what they are actually. Windows 7 Enterprise Edition 64 bit build 7600. This OS suffering system needs to patch three file files. Three file files have been patched. It would say zero files file have been patched, or and three file files need to patch. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Now patch, 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 and it allows you to restart your computer. Restart your computer, then do that. And read all these. Read all this first. So go into lang. What's that? Yeah. Read that. Read the theme patch underscore. ENU and read, read me. The next time a language file exists, the universal theme patcher, otherwise try to use internal resources. The language file must save as Unicode encoding. The language ID can be found in language window. Okay. And read theme patcher. Universal theme patcher, blah blah blah, just read the whole thing. Make sure you do, otherwise you won't know how to use it if you're watching this video. Um, I'm going to go to Windows SP logon seed screen. Right click on tweaks logon. Run as, run as administrator. Change logon screen. Go to 70 XP pack where we saved it. I saved it on my desktop. You need Wimra. <laughs> Not to save on your desktop, but you need Wimra. Then go to XP logon screen. Logon. Okay, okay. Test. Um, some those windows and that windows and sounds. Um, that's how to make it look like that. Okay, thank you for watching.